Carol, we, we talked a Dick, about yeah. a lot of things down there. What? Yes, what? what, what no, I just no you just said Carol. I said, yeah, Dick. Oh, yeah, yeah. Carol, Dick. Uh -huh. This, you'll soft pedal the fact that you know my real middle name, I assume, since you blurted that out to the public years ago. Alva. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we talked about a lot of things uh, late at night down in Florida out there with the surf Will you be quiet? And my husband and my child balcony are Balcony and, um, and the rustling of the diaphanous material. And it sounds like one of those dreadful novels. It sure it? does. But, but we, uh, we talked about uh, some people we can't stand in the business. And uh, I had a longer list than you did. But there are a couple really dreadful people in our business. Uh, and um, I wonder, if, is there anyone you won't work with? You don't need to name no, names. I'm no, I'm I here. Pry. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. Uh, but uh, I, I just wondered if there are, without forcing you to give us any hints or anything, it, is there a performer or sort of performer that you just feel so... You ain't going to get me into specifics about, about yeah. mentioning no, I don't, any I don't want to. particular person, but there are types I will not work with. I, if I find out that someone I'll is that, that way, yeah. uh, I won't work with them. Uh, someone who is totally unprofessional, by that I mean temperamental, who runs in slamming the door screaming, who is late, who has no um, feeling for the other performers, mm -hmm. um, I guess you would call it un totally unprofessional, who uh, yeah. feels that what they're doing is the most important thing in the world, and all it is is show business, and it's a, it's a hoot to be in show business. Mm -hmm. And too many people take it seriously. I used yeah. to, and it's, uh, it's not worth it. It is fun, and it is let's pretend, and sometimes we lose um, the feeling of that, and we don't make it as much fun as it is. It is all just fake and phony. We, we start pretending when we're kids, mm -hmm. playing dolls, going out and, and pretend, hey, let's pretend I'm so-and-so and you're this and, and acting out movies. It's, uh, it's child's play. Yeah. And uh, I guess because all the big uh, mucky mucks in the suits have all the money, mm -hmm. then it becomes very serious. But uh, as a performer, I think we should just plunge in and have fun and experiment. Have you ever been in a situation where a, a huge star was so rotten to underlings around them yes. that you wished you could do something but yes. couldn't? Yes, I was one of the underlings, so I couldn't do anything at that time. Yeah. Had I had more um, guts at the time, I would have walked off and gone back on unemployment. Yeah. Um, Can you tell us the nature of it? Without, you know, just uh, being very rude to the extras on the set and yelling at them and making them feel uh, yay tall. Yeah. And there's no excuse for that. I, that truly baffles me. I can understand somebody screaming at the costume man or the makeup man or the director out of uh, nerves or and they often apologize afterwards and so on. But there are one or two swinish louts in our business who uh, are well known for being uh, cruel to people who are helpless uh, and saying, you call that a take or uh, well, you see who that. booked the amateur? Come on, yeah. uh, forget it, forget it. Let's somebody else do it who can do well, it. Get why, out of here. Why, why are we I, I talking about people that. like this? Because, they, see, we're wasting I positive don't energy. What that is. Well, forget it. Don't try to understand it. When That's their a, problem. The things that amaze me, I want explanations for. I was wondering if you knew whether you think it's their own doubts about their talent. Probably. Or maybe they were born sadistic. Well, or they might have been. Can't forget that they were poor once and, <sighs> and but they see it in, in some perverted sense. They, they, they despise people who are what they once were. They probably would be mm. that way in any job. It's probably. just that uh, if, yeah. if you're a celebrity that does feed the ego so they are in um, a very dangerous profession for someone with that kind of a temperament. And they do take it. It could be insecure. I mean, they could be a plumber or a shoe salesman or anything and still be a stinker. Mm -hmm. uh, but unfortunately, when you're a stinker and you're in show business and you're, say, a star, yeah. that's, that's awful because it is a total ego-feeding business. But it can sure be taken away as quickly as you got it. And, I mean, it's, an old, yes, it's the old cliche. You meet them going up and you meet them coming down. That one is true. The bigger they are, the nicer they are is not true. No, not necessarily. Yeah. We, we've sort of slid off um, both Friendly Fire and that uh, clip that we saw. And uh, are, are, do you feel you're in transition stage now or that you have made a transition? Because it seems to me that you have successfully uh, passed second base or third base toward home 
in the in the sense that you are established now, I think, as a major film actress because of. Uh, I would just uh, like to keep on trucking. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I don't think. Um, see, what happens is, people you get categorized. It's certainly natural for me to be categorized. I for eleven years on our show and four years on the Gary Moore show and doing musical comedy and so forth. You are pigeonholed. Yeah. I never pigeonholed myself. I just was lucky and, and uh, got jobs. And the jobs happened to be in comedy and in music. Uh, I always felt my, that I was a, <coughs> wanted to be a uh, well-rounded performer. Mm -hmm. And um, I like the whole British attitude of doing everything. Uh, yeah. People go, oh, well, now I'm in film. I wouldn't deign to do television. That's silly. Uh, you should go where the roles are. You know, where uh, I've said this before. They're not. It's in somebody's living room. Uh, it's where you can grow and learn mm -hmm. and stretch and stick your neck out. The unfortunate thing, I think, in uh, American show business is that people aren't allowed to make mistakes too much. That's right. Yeah. And, and in which case, then, they get their necks chopped off so much by the critics that they play it safe, and that's why so much uh, entertainment is dull. Everybody's playing it safe and not trying. Yeah, protect what you've got and don't step oh, up. Oh, yeah, because somebody's going to say, what uh, are they trying to do? You know, It's almost as if you go up steps, and then you're on a tightrope, mm -hmm. and you have to do... That's what I love about Bob Altman. Boy, he sticks his neck out, and he experiments, yeah. and he tries, and he keeps going, and he's very daring. And I love it. He gets on to the next thing, and if people say, "Don't you're silly to try that, he goes ahead he anyway. He does it anyway. And you do that, too. Uh, I'm sure there are plenty of people who said, Carol, I, I know I can understand you wanting to do a serious part, but, uh, I mean, really, there's a scene in which you're going to have to find out your son has been killed in, in this thing, and, uh, you know, people are going to expect a pie to come up. Or, uh, not that you've been hit with pies that often. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. uh, that was so moving, the way you did that scene. You, you, you didn't seem to do very much at all. Um, is there any way you can tell us how you were guiding yourself from within while when the man came to you and gave the news that you, uh, your son had been killed in the war? Uh, actually, in that, you, the scene does it. Mm -hmm. Because you don't have to do a whole lot. You almost let the, it. The scene is there. Mm -hmm. And um, to overdo something like that would be, I think, a mistake. Uh, Could you tell in any detail what you disliked about yourself when you, in one film you said you didn't care for? W was it too broad for you? Did you... I just didn't know what I was doing. I had uh -huh. no idea, and uh, I was flailing about, and uh, just, you know, I, I, I just stunk. Stunk. Yeah, stink, stank, stunk. Yes. Mm -hmm. But stank. there must have been specific mental notes you made, like next time I won't what? Yes, each time you learn more. Next mm -hmm. time I won't stink as much. <laughs> It's, it's that general. It yeah, is, next that, time uh, I ain't gonna stink as much. It isn't I that I, I moved like this instead of like no, this. No, it's if if you kind of have an idea of the character, uh, it, then then it happens mm -hmm. uh, within. If if you are flailing about, that's when you notice that the moves aren't right. Um, when you're not sure, you do too much. I guess. Could you say? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Less is more. Mm -hmm. We have less than ten seconds. Yes. And then, uh, but. Uh, Let's uh, get a good night's sleep, come back tomorrow night, okay. and do the same thing, and we'll get into the really risque stuff that we've been saving. We'll see you tomorrow night. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> you did it.